Ramadan is the time to strengthen our relationship with Allah. But for most of us, it is also time to connect with our families, friends and neighbors as we come together for iftar and offer taraweeh in the mosque. This year, Ramadan may also feel like a lonely month due to pandemic, especially for those living away from their families. Ramadan is not merely physical. Fasting is a commitment of the person's body and soul to the spirit of the fast. A spiritual self-purification method. Through fasting, we work on acts of worship and aim to purify the soul too. Cleansing impurities and refocusing one's self of worship, abstaining from negative vices and habits, such as arguing, fighting or lustful thoughts. It is the fasting of the tongue, ears and eyes that is, in fact, more challenging. During this time, many focus on establishing self-control and relearning positive life-changing habits. People acquire patience, strong will and discipline. In UK, the Ramadan fasting model has been used by health departments to reduce cigarette smoking. Without the social support we usually rely on, Ramadan may be an un uncertain time, especially for those battling poor health or living in difficult circumstances. Alarming headlines are fueling our anxieties and nobody quite knows when and if life will return to normal. During this stressful period, there are a few things you can do to look after your mental health and support others during Ramadan. According to research, more time spent with loved ones, the healthier you feel and Ramadan is an opportunity to cherish the company of people you care about. Research found lower levels of depression in those over the age of 50 who saw family and friends at least three times a week. Coming together for iftar or visiting the mosque also exercises the mind and improves cognitive function. In addition, the benefits of a shared meal such as iftar can be beneficial to children. A number of studies have found that shared meal times help promote social and language development. While we may not be able to physically spend time with those closest to us this Ramadan, it is still possible to stay connected and strengthen our relationships using technology. Use phones and computers for video calls and post emails or social media to stay in regular touch. Hearing a friendly, familiar voice or reading a message from those we care about helps us feel more connected. This is important for our mental health and especially for those who may be feeling lonely, isolated and afraid about what is happening. Try holding a virtual iftar gathering by video call if your family or loved ones are not able to be with you. This can be as a big or intimate as you like, perhaps starting off with a prayer or zikr and then breaking fast and eating together. This may seem like odd at first, but it can help to create a community feel and keep your spirits up. It is a chance to share that special moment of haftar with loved ones and also show off your culinary skills too. By helping others, you are not only making a difference to someone else's life, but also improving your own physical and emotional well-being. The act of giving is associated with better health, including lower blood pressure, increased self-esteem, less depression, lower stress levels, longevity, and greater happiness. This so-called helper's high is a neurological feel-good effect of generosity, which activates parts of the brain related to enjoyment through boosting endorphins, our feel-good brain chemical it is. It also creates a sense of purpose and helps to strengthen bonds with your community. The social active lifestyle that often goes hand in hand with being charitable can help to improve our self-esteem as we become immersed in meaningful activities, which also helping us to combat feelings of loneliness and isolation. The positive emotions we feel from being charitable can also help to banish stress and help us detach from negative feelings such as anger. 
Muslims are therefore keen to share food with Muslims and non-Muslim neighbors and friends in Ramadan. In some communities, there is a tradition of organizing afar parties and running free food kitchens for deserving families. This year, you can still cook food and send food to your neighbors, provided you take care to do so hygienically. If you want to avoid social contact, you may want to simply leave the food on their doorstep and drop them a note over text. Take extra care to look out for particularly vulnerable neighbors this Ramadan, such as ill and elderly who may not be able to buy groceries or cook for themselves. Indeed, the Prophet, peace be upon, upon him, advised, he does not truly believe who eats his fill while his neighbor remains hungry by his side. This is mentioned in, uh, in Bukhari. In terms of physical health benefits, fasting may promote insulin sensitivity, which helps the aid of healthy blood pressure, cholesterol levels, a healthier weight and heart functions, as well as reducing the overall risk of diabetes. Fasting may promote healthy guts, which in turn aids immune and digestive processes. Fasting can help lower of blood pressure, blood sugar, and cholesterol. It is also advisable to check in with your doctor to determine whether or not you should if you have some serious health conditions. If you are unable to fast, you can pay the fidya in instead, where you give a poor a hungry person the amount of money equivalent to the cost of two meals a day. If you think of willpower as a muscle, the more you work the muscle with exercise, the stronger and more powerful it will become. When people engage in self-control, individuals learn to control their consumptions of unhealthy habits. Exercising self-control like in Ramadan helps people refocus on psychological well-being and what is important to them. In a study conducted on undergraduate Muslim students who intended to fast in the month of Ramadan were asked to respond to a psychological well-being scale before and after the end of Ramadan. Findings showed that fasting led to the promotion and overall psychological well-being self-acceptance, autonomy, positive relations, environmental mastery, and personal growth among students who fasted in this month. Reflection and being mindful allows you to be completely in the moment. By stepping away from the pressures of daily life and acknowledging your own thoughts and feelings. By doing this on a regular basis, you can reduce anxiety and depression. A recently published study demonstrated that participants with generalized anxiety disorder went on to exhibit much lower levels of stress after learning mindfulness techniques. The practice is also known to improve mental clarity, making it easier to concentrate on positive intentions during the periods of fasting. Sometimes we feel like in an unprecedented situation and that is out of our control, this is what we think. But remember, it is the Qadr of Allah and we were never in control. Worrying will not change the situation but take consolation in the fact that Allah can protect us if we reach out to Him. Prophet peace be upon him said, Be mindful of Allah and Allah will protect you. Be mindful of Allah and you will find Him in front of you. If you ask, then ask Allah alone. And if you seek help, then seek help from Allah alone. And know that if, the na if a nation were to gather together to, to benefit you with anything, they would not benefit you except with what Allah had already prescribed for you. And if they were to gather together to harm you with anything, they would not harm you except with what Allah had already prescribed against you. The pens have been lifted and the pages have dried. This hadith is mentioned in Tirmazi. The holy month is an opportunity for us to address any unhealthy behaviors. Ramzan is an excellent time to reflect upon 
and evaluate any unhealthy habits such as smoking, alcohol, drugs or excessive internet internet use which can be amended during this month. Ramadan can give us the spiritual power to reflect on our habits and behaviors. In addition, the ability to avoid unhealthy behaviors for an entire day can be a stepping stone towards resetting and building up a resistance to triggers while also addressing any urges or impulses.